Hi, my name is Lee Kelvin and my matrix number is 18109124 and I'm from RQ23, which is um, System Electrical Engineering from Group 1. So first of all, the title for my project presentation would be Active Power and Parameters of Measurement of Three-Phase Circuit. Before I dive into this project, um, I will explain a little of what this project is about. This experiment got to know the parameters of the three-phase system of Y-connected, three-phase generator connected through a three-phase transmission line to a Y-connected load. This experiment got to know the active power of the system through two watt meter method. This experiment let us determine whether the three-phase system is under the acceptable voltage drop based on BS7671 or any malaysia's authority standard. The experiment involves the skill of using PSIM software. The data of line currents, phase voltages of loads, line voltages for loads and active power were measured and calculated and compared with tables. The voltages drop percentage was also calculated to determine its acceptance stage. The results show the active power obtained through a 2 watt meter method. Okay, so let's dive into the introduction part. First thing, which is the introduction of this project. First of all, a three phase system is a system with three phases. The current will pass through the over three wires and there will be one neutral wire for passing the fault current to the earth is known as the three-phase system. In other words, the system which uses three wires for generation, transmission, and distribution is known as the three-phase system. The three-phase system is also used as a single-phase system if one of three-phase and the neutral wire is taken out from it. The sum of the line currents in the three-phase system is equal to zero, and their phases are differentiated at an angle of 120 degrees. The three-phase system has four wires, the three current carrying conductors, and the one neutral. The current in the neutral wire is equal to the sum of the line current of the three wires and consequently equal to the square root three times the zero-phase sequence components of current. This project has been using the star connection of both the generator and the load. Furthermore, two watt meter method is used to measure the power in a three phase. Three, three wires star or delta connected balance or unbalanced load. In two watt meter method, the current coils of the watt meter are connected with any two lines and the potential coil of each watt meter is joined on the same line. The total power is the sum if the powers measured by the two watt meter W1 and W2. This project gets to use and well understand the function of three phase system through PSIM. Okay. Next, there will be objectives of this project. There are three objectives of this project. First would be to measure the parameters of the three phase system. Next, to measure the power delivered by a three-phase system using two watts meter method. Third would be the, uh, to understand the usage of PSIM software. Okay, next would be the methodology part. From the flowchart, first I make a research about the three-phase system and get to know two watt meter method. After understanding the system, make a research on Malaysia's frequency standard and also know the percentage of acceptable voltage drop based on BS7671 or any Malaysia's authority standard. Next, after having those basic information, sketch the Y generator and Y load system draft on a paper and yet construct the circuit on PSIM by using the elements in PSIM. The circuit is then run to test the simulation. Next, the data from the simulation is obtained and jotted down in a paper, then calculated the actual value based on the formulas and understanding of the circuit to obtain the calculated values for the parameters and the active power. 
Next, the table is then constructed to compare the values of the measured values from P seen and the calculated value. Lastly, discussions and conclusions are made based on data obtained and compared. Okay. So this would be the results for my project. Table 1 shows the calculated value for the line currents and the measured value for the line currents in kilometer ampere. First, the value of the calculated line current for line A, line B and line C are the same, which is at 1.28 kilometer ampere. There's a slight difference for the measured value of the line current. First, for the measured value of the line current in line A, it will be 1.275 km ampere, and the value for measured line current for line B would be 1.268 km ampere, and for the value for measured line current for line C would be 1.266 km ampere. Next, table 2 shows the voltages of the phase voltages of load. First of all, the calculated phase voltages for phase load A, phase load B, and phase load C are the same, which is 104.32 km watt. There is a slight difference for the calculated phase voltages and the measured phase voltages value. As for the phase load A for the measured value, would be 104.16 km watt and the value for measured phase voltages for phase load B would be 103.9 km watt and the measured value for phase load C would be 103.9 km watt. Next, for table 3 would be the line voltages. The value of line voltages for line EAB, line EBC and line ECA for the calculated would be the same, which is at 180.68 km watt. And for the values of as for the value of the measured line voltages for line EAB would be at 180.27 kW. And the value for the value for measured line voltages for line EBC would be 179.79 km watt. And the value for measured line voltages for line ECA would be at 180.25 km watt. Next. Table 4 shows the value of active power for calculated and measured. First, the calculated value for active power would be 398.139 MW. And the value for measured active power by using 2 watt meter method would be 397.282 MW. Okay. Next, this would be the figure constructed in p for the measurement of line currents, phase voltages of load and line voltages. Next, this would be the figure that I have been constructed in p for the measurement for active power. Okay, next. As for the discussions, from the calculated value of line currents obtained, there are slight difference in the value obtained from the measured value of line currents from p -SIM. The measured values of the line currents are slightly less as compared to the calculated values of the line currents. Furthermore, Table 2 shows the phase voltages of load A, load B, and load C were calculated and recorded. There is a slight difference between the values of phase voltages calculated and the phase voltages measured as observed from the Table 2. From Table 2, we observe that the value measured of phase voltages of load is slightly less as compared to the phase voltages of the load calculated. As for table 3, it shows the values of line voltages for line EAB, line EBC, and line EAC. The values of calculated lines voltages have slight difference as compared to the values of measured line voltages as observed from the table. 
the values of measured line voltages is slightly less than the values of the calculated line voltages. Moreover, Table 4 shows the value of active power absorbed by the loads. There is a slight difference in the value of calculated active power as compared to the measured active power using two-watt meter method. As for the table 4 above, it is obtained that the value of measured active power using two-watt meter method is less than the value of calculated active power. Furthermore, the value of voltage drop percentage with the 275 kW of generator is 34 by 29%, which means it had exceeded the acceptable voltage drop based on BS7671 of any malicious authority standard. Okay. Next, it will be for the conclusion part. As for the conclusion, we obtain that there will be a slight difference for the values that calculated and values that is measured. Next, the values for line currents, phase voltages of load, line voltages and also active power that we measured will be slightly less as compared to the values of calculated. This may be the inference on the decimal places we use during calculation. The number of decimal places might have a slight difference occurs for the final values of calculation as compared to the measure. The slight difference in value is because of the lagging of inductor in the three-phase system. Next, the voltage drop in this experiment is unacceptable as compared to voltage drop based on BS7671 or any malicious authority standard, which is a maximum of 3%. Lastly, the objectives are achieved in this project. Thank you and this are my sharing for my project.